We're back on the road. We're gonna get some breakfast. I haven't eaten anything but jerky and pannikin for days. We're heading to Atlantic City. Atlantic City. Three miles down this dusty old road. Atlantic City. Just ran over the, a cow pie the size of the moon. And I think my yellow car is gonna be brown. Hmm. Going on down that dusty old road, Atlantic City. Population? About 57. About. Woo, we got some opposing flags. There's a Trump flag on that side and a love peace flag on that side. Wow. There's some, uh, there's some, uh, interesting, uh, interesting stuff there. Can't tell if they're for or against it. I don't know. I have no idea what that's trying to tell me. So, all right, we're at the Grub Steak. Hi, I'm Laurel Nelson. Came through here on a motorcycle in 08. Decided to buy the place. We've done a huge remodel. We have a huge red cedar bar. From Look at this fancy bar. Yeah. So cool. My son and my brother built it all out of a five and a half diameter red cedar, which you are more familiar with than people in Wyoming. Yeah. They don't have trees like that. That here. No. We, we were talking it. about that too, like yeah. over live stream. That we're like, how are they building houses out here? There's no trees. Exactly. And so it's chipped in. Yeah. A lot of it. Yeah. But um, we're up. We're kind of out of the way. We're not dealing with as much of the stuff going on um, up here. And we've all been fine. Yeah. Um, we're in year 12. And I went from uh, trauma nursing and managing a lab to running a restaurant and bar. I so never cool. had any experience in a restaurant in my whole life. So when we decided to do this, I said, well, I'm not familiar with doing something I'm not educated to do. So we signed up for a college course in beverage management and proceeded to learn the business and bartend. And, oh. you know, and here we are. Just made five stars. I think we're doing all right for novice. I think so. And um, there's a lot to be learned just out in the world. Sorry you're out of the classroom. But in a lot of ways, you may learn a lot of different lessons that may suit you better in life later. I think so. So. Thank you, Laurel. Thanks for asking. You bet. And hey, take All right, y'all. Laurel made me a nice burger. Pretty hungry. It's been a... It's been a couple of days since we've had a real meal. So I think we had, what do we have? We had pizza and lava springs. And that was the last time we ate something that didn't come from our box of food. And you'll be very impressed oh. because he is now going to have the famous lobster steak supper. I'm so excited. <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> All right, I'm putting down the camera so I can eat. I'll talk to you guys yeah. when, I'm, when I'm well fed. Oh, we're doing better, y'all. We're slowly crawling our way out of the ghost towns of Wyoming. Just hung out at this great roadside, roadhouse bar called the uh, Grub Steak. Uh, talked to Laurel, owner of the bar, cool as hell, nurse practitioner, taking care of everybody there. Uh, met this guy who owns a topaz mine in uh, Utah and gave me some Labradorite crystals. He was telling me the way that he finds the crystals, because they're trapped in these like G-O-D gas pocket things, is he takes like a little hammer and he just taps on the rock. And when he hears one that's hollow, smashes it open and the rocks come out. And he'll say on a weekend of tapping and smashing, he'll pull out two to three thousand dollars worth of topaz. Just blows my mind. And then he sends them to Thailand and he gets them cut because you want them all like fancy cut so you can see all the cool stuff in it. And it only costs him, woo, or a little wiggly, uh, about 30 bucks a rock to cut. And uh, if you want some a blue color, 
a buddy of his has to expose them to radiation like a big old pile of uranium. That's how he gets the fancy color is he just nukes it. It's insane. Changes the structure. Look, we, we just arrived at Monk King Bird Pottery. We already found what we're looking for. Big old chunk of jade. Yeah. All right. Well, see ya. <laughs> no, no, no. We're checking this place out. We're in, uh, where are we? Jeffrey City. Jeffrey City, Wyoming. Why do you call it Monk King Bird Pottery? Is it four different words or? Yeah, it is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, because Clint Eastwood did a movie in uh, Martindale, Texas, where I was living in a ghost town. Mm-hmm. And the security guard during this movie filming was John, and he wanted me to make a he wanted to make a sign. Yep. So I could uh, have my first name. I never had a name back when the Earth was still flat. Yep. And he sat there for a week or two and carved a sign that I said Mockingbird, and he put an in where a C should have been. Then he hung the sign up, and I never caught it until I, it was long gone. Long Sometimes gone, John yeah. did it. That's so cool. Because I worked production pottery for 12 years anyways. <laughs> yeah, so you were doing it for a while, I huh? I stood in one spot, and um, they brought b balls of clay to me, and I made pots and put them over here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know. Uh, I mean, would you, would you trade this for an office job and no, 40000 a year? So you're right. It is worth it. But my goodness, uh, the struggle at it's a the hustle. beginning. Like... This one right here. So cool. And then this, uh, I've been firing bowls on her side um, to keep the little crushed up glass I have in there. Mm -hmm. And it's all making them oval because of all the heat. Mm -hmm. 2300 degrees plus a little gravity. It's uh, proof of victification. Yeah, that's... That's done its job there. Where are we at? Jeffrey City, Wyoming, Woo! center of the universe. That's right. And what store is this? Monkey Bird Pottery. That's right. I just got my mug. You'll be seeing me drink out of it on the live stream as soon as I get back. DJ Khaled, another one. We the best at Roadside History. We're at Sweetwater Station, at the Sweetwater Crossing. We got two sets of Oregon Trail ruts here. We got Indian encampments from 12,000 years ago. We got all sorts of geology and stuff, but most of all, we got water. Because just like its name says, we're in Sweetwater, where the water was sweet and clean, good for the animals, good for the people, now we're heading to Casper. Hopefully this is our last pit stop because uh, we ready. We ready to be in Casper. <laughs>